Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Main New Eden Fleet Works and today we are taking a look at the ship lineup that you see before you. This is the uh, Amar Imperor and some color variants. Uh, on top of that we will also be talking a lot about the Armada and uh, all of that stuff uh, afterwards. Um, so let's get into this. Uh, lots of information heading your way. So as you can see I've got a lineup of ship color variants for the Imperor which is the Amar Amarian rookie ship uh, and uh, real quick we'll just go through all the names which I have memorized uh, and this was all done in one day this is actually all of the color variants for this ship we have the standard edition the Amatar mandate the artist Shapur, the court chamberlain edition the equilibrium of mankind edition imperial edition uh, Kedor edition Conid edition imperial navy issue uh, Sarum Edition and Tosh Mercan Edition. So those are all the color variants that are available from EVE, like at all. For this ship, it should give you an idea as just how many color variants are available for most ships in the game. Uh, at least the four empires have this many color variants. This is 11 color variants, most ships have about 6 or 7 at least. So, it's a lot of work. Uh, this took about three hours to complete and that's because I ran into a few problems along the way but every single one of these ships is identical the only thing that has changed is the colors used for the different materials on the ship they all weigh the same exact mass they all weigh the same exact mass I'm pretty sure that's not how physics works but um, they are all the same exact mass which means the only difference is the uh, the colors that you will be using when you construct or buy them or whatever <clears throat> I would like to note two things. Um, this one right here is the Imperial Edition, and while I would like to have made this gold, it's essentially the same color scheme as this one, which is the Standard Edition, and nothing really would have changed except the lighting, which is white instead of yellow. Um, so uh, I made it yellow hull, and well, it's a little bit more yellow than I would have liked, but I think it works, and you know we're just going to have to settle with that. Um, real quick, I can also show you the interiors. Uh, also, I sh would like to note that this is the Conid edition and it will not ever be available for download uh, unless I specifically decide for some sort of reward or event that it will be available for download. The Conid edition of all the Amar ships is going to be part of my own personal fleet. If you ever see one of these flowing around, you'll know it's me. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, this isn't the Conid Edition, this is the Navy issue. This is the Conid Edition, which is the one that I'll be keeping. Um, the reason why? It's got uh, black on black with uh, silver and gray accents, which is really nice. Um, from below, the lighting on all these looks spectacular, and I think it looks really cool. That Navy issue looks really cold. It's kind of interesting. Um, and of course, you've all seen the interior for the default Standard Edition white with brown accents. Uh, the uh, Amatar Mande is brown with green accents, yellow lighting. Artist Shepur is uh, very green interior, white on green, or white with green accents. Uh, God, I don't even know. Court Chamberlain is uh, yellow lighting with uh, brown accents on gray. Uh, Equilibrium of Mankind, white lighting, which uh, gives it a very clean look compared to the others. Uh, gray with blue accents. Uh, Imperial Edition, white with quote-unquote gold accents, white lighting. Uh, Kador Edition, blue lighting, blue with white accents. Uh, this is Conid Edition, this is my own personal ship. Uh, you could see probably why I chose it. It's a really nice version. I like this color scheme, and I like blue lighting on the, on the interior. It looks really good. If there was one that had, like, red lighting, I'd use it, but there are none. Uh, and uh, we can see this one here is the Navy issue. Uh, white with black accents, blue lighting. Uh, Sarum edition, red with brown accents, yellow lighting. And Tosh Khan, a gray with red accents, yellow lighting. So those are the color schemes you can expect for most of the Amar ships. Uh, even, you know, well, I plan on doing it for every single ship. It's going to be a pain in the ass, especially when it comes to logic, because every single one of these ships, when I replace the lights, 
requires me to go through the ship and make sure all the lights that are lit up are, you know, working, which is a pain in the ass, because that involves knowing the order in which the lights light up. And it's not fun, but it'll be, you know, a big project, and it should s satisfy, like, literally anybody that downs downloads my ships, because they'll have the color scheme that they like the most, and they'll be able to assemble a fleet of ships that they like very much. So, um... <clears throat> Uh, one last thing I would like to mention is that when the health point system comes out, I will continue doing color variants. For now, this is the only ship that I'm doing color variants for right now. And the reason is, is because um, I would like to release ships with the health points in mind so that I am providing the most uh, balanced set of ships in star made ever and it's going to be based off eve numbers so it's not like i'm doing the work really i'm just translating that into star made but um hopefully the health point system reveals some sort of pool like a number pool that uh is accumulated based on health uh, uh of the armor that you attach to it right so this ship should have a decent amount of armor plus it also has the four percent uh resistance bonus which is represented here by the uh the what you call it uh, piercing effect module, right? Uh, so that's got a 4% uh, resistance on its armor, which is something that I've included. Uh, that's the same exact number in EVE. So I'm hoping that, you know, when this health point system comes out, I will be able to start with this ship as the baseline for hull and stuff, and we'll be able to uh, see just how this comes along. It'll be an interesting uh, uh, bit of work. But I don't want to do any more color variants because if I did it based off a different ship, like the Heron, which is what I started off with, uh, this ship would have to be redone to a certain extent, and I don't want to do that. I think this ship is fine where it is at, and uh, I think it can serve as the baseline for the whole uh, system that will be implemented in the future. So now that we're all done talking about that, let's talk about the Armada. So uh, hopefully without disturbing the recording of my video, uh, okay, there we go, I will have hopefully not fucked that up. I just had to tab out of the game to get something on my other screen. So, um, the Armada has accelerated in terms of uh, its scope significantly, uh, much more so than I had anticipated. Um, I am talking to people like Saber, Raven, Dalmont, and they are all on board for the Armada which is something I was not expecting to even reveal to them, even at this point, because I frankly wasn't ready, and I really didn't realize what I was doing to myself by starting this project. But, um, it's gonna be big, guys. It's gonna be fucking huge. Um, this may be one of the craziest things I've done, and you will see it hit a number of channels, all at the same time, a number of YouTube streamers, and it's just gonna sort of, it could potentially overcome and like wash over a lot of the star made content that you guys are seeing right now, which would be pretty interesting. So, um, uh, I have come up with a completely different logo than what I showed you in the last video. And I'm apologizing right now because I know a lot of you liked the logos that were presented there. But to be completely honest, none of them really felt how I wanted the Armada to be represented. Um, the Armada is supposed to be a rising tide of gamers and content creators that will, you know, wash over, not the competition, but their, uh, they, they'll wash over and incorporate and, you know, integrate new people, new content, new people that are, you know, playing these games and, uh, like, assimilate them into the fleet. Think of it like the Borg, but like without the plot holes and, you know, more stylish. Um, and not as weird about it either. Uh, that's kind of the idea, is that we kind of want to just grow as a network and, you know, encompass people that are doing a good job in, you know, the content creation aspect of things, as well as people that are doing good for the community. And there will be, you know, official recognition by the founders of the Armada towards those people and you know eventually they may be brought into the fold the most inner of folds and uh brought up to the the level of which 
you hold me and other content creators currently. Um, or at least that's the hope, that's the desire. So, <clears throat> um, I don't really know where to start. Uh, I guess I will show you the new logo right now. This is not a finished version, but it is exactly what I was thinking of when I was creating this logo. This is exactly what I was thinking the Armada felt and represented. It's more stylish, it's detailed, and I think it's way better than the things that we did before. Uh, you know, I was kind of remaining a little too uh, realistic with the old logo, and now I'm getting more abstract with it, and I think it's turning into a really cool symbol that is already being supplied to the other members of the Armada, and uh, they are, they're already starting to implement it into their own things, and it's really quite amazing. So real quick, here's the new logo. It should play for a few seconds, I have no idea. Bam. Alright, so that is the animated version of the logo. Um, there will be static versions, and uh, the, uh, the logo itself can be colorized uh, depending on who is using it, and uh, stylized depending on who's using it. You know, they can use a static version, they can use an animated version, all sorts of stuff. So, what uh, is left to do between the, uh, the current members? And by the way, the current members of the Armada are me, Saber, Raven, and uh, Dalmont, but he's not a cr content creator, but he's like, you know, uh, part of this backbone. He's helping us create stuff that we will all be using in the end, um, and, you know, I'm not going to exclude him just because he's not a content creator or anything. That's kind of stupid, but um, us four have already been talking, and in the time frame of a day, this accelerated from a personal project to something that uh, escalated to, you know, full-scale network of people that are already working to create something. It's quite amazing. The news got out really quick, and I only told one person about, out of that group, and the rest of them found out immediately. I went to go get Taco Bell, I came back, and they were like, hey, we gotta talk to you, because, like, we got a really cool idea for, like, you know, your thing, and, like, our thing, and, like, it was just all sorts of nuts. So, um, more stuff about what they have planned will be revealed in long into, in the future. I can't really get into it, uh, but uh, there's some really awesome things going down. Um, <clears throat> of course, please let me know what you think of the logo. Uh, keep in mind that that is just the logo, uh, and it will not, like, if I ever have to spell out the Armada, then I'll probably be making my own font for it, or my own stylized, you know, text for that, uh, so don't worry about that. Um, as for the YouTube and uh, streamers that want to be a part of the Armada, it will happen, and I guarantee you guys, you guys will have a chance to join. Um, for example, uh, when and there there are some amazing things that come with joining the Armada, and it, it's more uh, to help us all be represented professionally, and it'll be really cool. So, um, uh, there are some guidelines. I'm not going to go over them now. They will be, uh, there will be videos posted over the course of the next few weeks uh, talking about uh, our expectations for content creators. Uh, for example, I can tell you the YouTube uh, content creator uh, guide or standards are very simple. Essentially, you have to create a piece of content at least once a week that is quality. Uh, you know, it's it's got a level of quality that is pretty good. Once a week, you're posting content, at least. I'm, I have to talk about this to the others, because there are standards that we want to set for people that are joining the Armada. Um, as for streamers, you know, uh, there's standards we're going to set for how your streamers presented, because I am slowly uncovering the secrets of YouTube streaming, or YouTube, Twitch streaming, and it turns out that there are some amazing things we can do to make our Twitch streams look really professional, stuff that not a lot of other people do. Sure, some people do it, but not a lot of them have, you know, made up their own custom animations, logos, uh, transitions, things that I have accomplished that I'm not seeing a lot of other people accomplish. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody is getting up to, up to par with, you know, how our Twitch streams look. Um, and essentially that is the standard that we will be needing 
for Twitch streams. But again, that's stuff that I will have to discuss with Raven, Saber, and the others. Uh, Dalmont, <clears throat> if he cares, I don't, he doesn't really do Twitch streaming either, so I don't know if he gives a shit, really. Um, <laughs> and uh, once we have gotten all these standards set up, we will start talking about how you guys can get involved. Um, on top of that, when you join the Armada, when it happens, you guys will be given access to things like intro and outro content packs, graphic packs, and all sorts of, you know, animation design logos and things for your channel, for your Twitch stream, and you'll be able to use them uh, in tandem with us and your stream and your content, and you'll be able to slap on the Armada logo if you so desire to become a part of the network. Um, so yeah, it's a big undertaking. There's all sorts of stuff that we have to set up and make sure that, you know, I have to make sure that we, the first four of us or three of us or whatever, are all up to standards with our own, you know, our own standards. We're all, we're all up to par with that. And uh, then we can start, you know, letting other people in. But for now, it's all preliminary setup phases. So I do apologize if you guys are excited, but you want in. You can currently consider yourselves a part of the fleet if you're following my channel. So I do thank you for the support. Tell me what you think. I'm loving where this is going right now. It's turning out to be bigger and better every single uh, moment I talk to these guys. And, you know, the ideas that we're having are just beyond Star Made. We could turn this into a really great community. So thanks again. Um, I'm hoping uh, you'll see some more of this Armada news uh, uh, next week. Uh, I'm hoping to post a Armada news video once a week so that you guys know what's up with the uh the group and uh beyond that thanks for watching i am chris and i bring her subscribe for more leave your feedback down below and i will see you all next time all of the color variants for this ship. We have the Standard Edition, the Amatar Mandate, the Art of Shepur, the Court Chamberlain Edition, the Equilibrium of Mankind Edition, Imperial Edition, uh, Kedor Edition, Khanid Edition, Imperial Navy Issue, uh, Sarum Edition, and Tosh Mercan Edition. So those are all the color variants that are available from EVE, like, at all. For this ship, it should give you an idea as just how many color variants are available for most ships in the game. Uh, at least the four empires have this many color variants. This is 11 color variants, going to be part of my own personal fleet. If you ever see one of these flowing around, you'll know it's me. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah. Oh no wait, this isn't the Conned Edition, this is the Navy issue. This is the Conned Edition, <laughs> which is the one that I'll be keeping. Um, the reason why? It's got... Uh, black on black with uh, silver and gray accents, which is really nice. Um, from below, the lighting on all these looks spectacular, and I think it looks really cool. That navy issue looks really cold. It's kind of interesting. Um, and of course, you've all seen the interior for the default standard edition, white with brown accents. Uh, the uh, most ships have about six or seven at least. So. It's a lot of work. Uh, this took about three hours to complete, and that's because I ran into a few problems along the way. But every single one of these ships is identical. The only thing that has changed is the colors used for the different materials on the ship. They all weigh the same exact mass. They all weigh the same exact mass? I'm pretty sure that's not how physics works. But um, they are all the same exact mass, which means the only difference is the, uh, the colors that you'll be using when you construct or buy them or whatever. <clears throat> I would like to note two things. Um, this one right here is the Imperial Edition, and while I would like to have made this gold, it's essentially the same color scheme as this one, which is the Standard Edition, and nothing really would have changed except the lighting, which is white instead of yellow. 
Um, so, uh, I made it yellow hull, and, well, it's a little bit more yellow than I would have liked, but I think it works, and, you know, we're just gonna have to settle with that. Um, real quick, I can also show you the interiors. Uh, also, I sh would like to note that this is the Conant Edition, and it will not ever be available for download, uh, unless I specifically decide for some sort of reward or event that it will be available for download. The Conant edition of all the Amar ships is... Hello once again YouTube, Chris that I bring here bringing you some Star Me New England Fleet Works and today we are taking a look at the ship lineup that you see before you. This is the uh, Amar Imperor and some color variants. Uh, on top of that we will also be talking a lot about the Armada and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, afterwards, um, so let's get into this. Uh, lots of information heading your way. So, as you can see, I've got a lineup of ship color variants for the Imperor, which is the Amar Amarian rookie ship. Uh, and uh, real quick, we'll just go through all the names which I have memorized. Uh, and this was all done in one day. This is actually.